In this tutorial we're going to be working with the Cutout Lab. At some point when you're working with images you'll realize that you want to isolate an image from the background. As a result you'll have to create what is called a mask and this allows you to use the object in a variety of compositions. We're going to get into cutting out this image from the background in a moment but before we do I want to draw your attention to the object stalker on the right. You'll notice here that there's the background image there's an object layer that I filled with green and a copy of the background which we're going to use as our working layer when we're creating the mask. The purpose of this green layer is for when we finish the masking process and we've exited the cutout lab. What I do at this point is I zoom into the edges of the mask and I check the edges against this high contrast background to make sure that there are no artifacts or holes in the image. Once that's done, I've completed the masking process. So let me just turn on this background layer back on and make sure it's activated. And now we're ready to access the Cutout Lab. One last point. When you're working with cutting out an image, you can use a mouse, but it's a little bit unwieldy and clumsy, a little bit like painting with a baseball bat. What I recommend is that you use a drawing tablet instead. In this particular situation, my drawing tablet of choice is the Wacom 6x8 Intuos 3 tablet. First thing we're going to do is go under Image, Cutout Lab. Now we're ready to start the process of masking the image. But before we get into it, we'll need to zoom in so we can see more of what we're doing. So let me click on the zoom icon. We'll zoom into the cactus. It's not quite enough. I want to zoom in a, a bit more. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make use of the highlight tool. So we're going to click on this highlighter tool and what we're going to be doing is defining an edge around this cactus. Now this tooltip is a bit too small for use so let me just dial it up a bit and I'll show you what I mean. Okay so what I'm doing here is highlighting the edge and what this is doing is a combination of laying color over part of the cactus itself and the background and this is needed in order to create a mask. Now when you're working with objects like the spines these are a little bit unwieldy to get around using a tooltip of this size so I'm just going to dial it down a bit making it a little bit smaller and it will be easier to navigate around the spines. Now one thing about working with the Image Cutout Lab is you don't have to worry about making any mistakes. If you do, you can simply make use of the Eraser tool and you can erase what you've done. So what I'm going to do now is just use a pan tool and work my way around the cactus, defining the edges necessary. In some cases you'll get into places where the detail is fairly critical and when that's the case you just simply zoom in a bit more. Now that we've finished defining the edge of the mask, we're ready to zoom out and apply the fill in preparation for previews. So let's just do that. And now we're ready to fill the image. So we'll click on the paint bucket. In this case the fill color is blue, but it could be any other color of your choice. And we'll just click on, this, on the cactus itself to fill it. Now that the cactus is filled, we're ready to create an image preview. At this point the background is set to none, so when I click on preview we're going to see a background of a checkerboard pattern. So let's just click on preview. And what we want to do at this point is to zoom into the image and start cleaning up the edge. Now in some cases this checkerboard pattern might be a little bit difficult to work with in order to see the edge. So we have several other options. We can choose grayscale, black matte, or white matte. In this case we'll start off with grayscale. And I'll zoom into the image. Now you can see what's happening with the edge. At this point we're experiencing some artifacting, some raggedness on the edge. Parts of the mask appear to have holes in it as well, so we're going to need to tidy that up. In PhotoPaint what we have here are these different tools 
which allow us to add detail or to take it away. So to begin, I'm going to click on the Remove Detail tool, and we'll just dial up the size of the tooltip, and we'll just start removing some of this artifacting. This is what you'll need to do around the entire image. You can do so after the fact, using the high contrast layer, but I tried to do as much of it as possible here. In the event that things look a little bit incomplete, like this needle that seems to have been fragmented, or this one here that doesn't look quite whole, we'll click on the Add Detail tool and dial the tooltip down, and we'll just go over this. And this allows us to paint in that detail. So this is what we're going to be working with around the entire image. Now in some cases, this gray layer, this gray background, may not give us enough information as to what's happening. So we can toggle to a different layer. We'll choose black matte in this case. And when choosing this, you can see that there's some, some more raggedness that's happening on the edge. It looks like there's some transparent edges in, in the mask itself. So we'll just go in there and use the Add Detail tool dial this up just a wee bit and start painting over it. And you can see how this fills in the edge of the mask. Makes it more solid. And this is what you'll do all the way around the mask. Now that we've finished defining the edge and cleaning up the mask, we're ready to make a cutout, which you would then use with other compositions. You have three options here. Just a straight cutout, cutout an original image, and then cutout as a clip mask. For our purposes, I'm going to choose cutout an original image. Before we apply it though, I'm just going to zoom out. Now we're ready to apply the cutout. We click on OK. And the end result now is we have the background, which we started with, but now we have a separate object on another layer. This is where my acid test comes into play. We're going to turn off this background copy. And now we look at the object going straight through to my green high contrast layer. And now we're ready to look at this cactus in more detail and see if it needs further retouching. So we'll just zoom into the edge and see what's happening. In this case, the edge is still a little bit ragged, and we want to improve that by just using the eraser and erasing those bits of artifacts that are around the image. And we just slowly work our way around the image. just erasing those bits as necessary. In this particular case, the edge is fairly sharp. If you want to soften it a bit, so it will blend more easily into the background of your compositions, you can use feathering, but that's the subject of another tutorial. For now, we'll stop here.